Over the weekend, LeBron James scored over 40,000 points, career points, as he is continuing to raise the bar on that all-time points leader in NBA history. Um, Although they did lose against the Denver Nuggets, kind of spoiling that celebration on Saturday night. Um, Let me tell you something. I I believe the Denver Nuggets are the defending champions, and I believe that they are going to be right up there um, in defending their championship crown. Um, But this is not about the Denver Nuggets. This is about LeBron James, and this is about LeBron James continuing to break records. Let's kind of get in depth a little bit with LeBron James. Do I believe that LeBron James is the greatest scorer of all time? No, I do not believe LeBron James is not the greatest scorer of all time. To me, in my eyes, in my mind, the greatest scorer of all time is Michael Jordan. Um, The next player um, right underneath Michael Jordan would be Kobe Bryant. For me, it's just based off on how they were able to score the ball so easily. Um, Jump shots so they don't have to take all the physical pounding, the, the, the post moves, things of that nature. Being able to take one to two to three dribbles, get to their spot quickly, and they don't have to feel like they have to overpower somebody all the time to be able to get to their spot to make baskets. For me... Um, that's why I consider Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant the goats of scoring at all times. They worked on their game. They worked on it so much where they perfect it by making it look easy to get to their spots. Um, you can just go by a lot of the um, NBA, their former teammates that played against them, and they would tell you, you, you've heard the story on podcasts and things of that nature on how great Michael Jordan was, how great Kobe Bryant was. Um, they were killers. They, they had a killer instinct to get to their spot with ease and no matter how hard you play defense they was able to shoot over top of their opponents now lebron james a lot of this comes from longevity a lot of this comes from being able to take care of your body keep it in shape um staying healthy um not barring any like real serious injury to be able to get to a feat like he has, you know, to play 20 years in the NBA. um, This is what happens when you're taking care of your body and you're able to do some load managing along the way. You're able to still accumulate points and stay consistent like he has to be able to reach this type of milestone. Um, Definitely, man, he is one of the greats, no doubt about it, but he is not the GOAT in my eyes. But I'm proud of him, man. I'm proud of all of his accomplishments, what he's been able to achieve um, in his long tenure. Now, he do have hopes and aspirations um, of still playing with his son, Bronny, and his other younger son, Bryce, in the NBA. Um, my hats off to him for having that that goal. Um, I'm not saying that's not going to happen, but at the end of the day, we know that he's getting older. But with him having um, that necessary mindset to load manage far as and knowing what his body can take and what his body can't take. Who's to say that that cannot happen? So shout out to LeBron James in reaching 40,000 points, career points um, as the NBA all time scoring um, at number one. He passed Kareem. Kareem had a little over 38,000. And now LeBron James is at the top as number one. But it, but again, I stress this. LeBron James is great in his own right. But. The greatest score to me in all time history is Michael Jordan. And the one under that is Kobe Bryant. Um, 
at the end of the day, man, y'all let me know in the comment section on what y'all feel about LeBron James. Um, they did not win the game. Um, it would have been great if he would have had that celebration. They did like a, a, a mixtape video for him throughout his whole career, but they still end up losing against the Denver Nuggets. Where do I see the Lakers, LeBron James and the Lakers this season? Um, let me just say this. I, I don't know. I don't know. They they are a seesaw team. And what I mean by that, they are, they are up and down, up and down, up and down. Do I see them being a threat or being a contender in the West? No, not really. Um, but I could be wrong. But I just don't see it. Um, I don't see them beating the Denver Nuggets in a seven-game series. Um I really don't see – I think they kind of match up well against the Clippers, so I think that's a toss-up. I believe they possibly can beat the Clippers in a seven-game series, um, but definitely not the Denver Nuggets. I think the Denver Nuggets have some better role players. Um, they have size. They have strength in the paint that they can overpower the Lakers. So I believe that the Denver Nuggets is the kryptonite of the Lakers. But the way – and the inconsistency of the Lakers, I just don't see them making it far like they did last season into the Western Conference um, semifinals to be able to get to that NBA finals, uh, which I think that could be really the either the Boston Celtics or you could be looking at a couple of other teams, but the Boston Celtics is showing themselves strong in the East, especially how they demolished the Golden State Warriors um, on yesterday. But at the end of the day, man, um, shout out to LeBron James and um, this milestone of 40,000 career points in the NBA. All right, man, y'all stay tuned. Um, you can listen to my podcast on Apple and Spotify, the Royal Figures podcast. And definitely you can go ahead and follow us on TikTok, Royal Figures, and on Instagram, Royal Figures podcast, and on YouTube, Royal Figures. And you can actually go ahead and purchase some merch uh, from our website at www.royalfigures.org. That's www.royale. Um, F-I-G-U-R-E-Z dot O-R-G and you can go ahead and purchase some merch right over on our website. Until next time, you know, you already know my motto, keep your head on the swivel, always be safe, be aware of your surroundings and stay tuned to the next episode.